هذا كان من أصعب الأيام عن جد أظن من أصعب الحالات اللي مرت علي So Michelle was in a critical situation when we got called about her حالتها متدهورة عندها تضيق في الصمام المترالي وحامل بالشهر السادس The decision was if we left her more than two or three hours she would die ما بنتعامل هلا مع حياه واحده بنتعامل مع حياتين. انا بعتبرها معجزه طبيه. بدنا ننقذ المريضين. Cleveland Phoenix, I'm bringing a female age, 33 years, she is in coma, the patient is unresponsive, her cells are dropping, could you please inform the ED doctor to prepare the bed for the patient? This was one of the worst days, I think it was one of the worst cases that happened to me, from all the time of the day. اجاني التليفون بتذكر زي امبارح اجاني التليفون على الساعه 6 الصبح بيقولوا لي في مريضه عندها كوفيد حالتها متدهوره عندها تضيق في الصمام المترالي وحامل بالشهر السادس This was one of the interesting case for me because the patient is 6 months pregnant he's got two lives so I had to do my level best to save the patient's life We are living in a normal life, me and my husband, for almost 11 years. And we have one child. Her name is Celestine. We have one daughter. And then we expect another child. I was infected by COVID. COVID-19, it was really hard for me. It's really tough for me because I was pregnant during at that time with my baby boy. Yeah, so Michelle was in a critical situation when we got called about her. She had come to four diff three different hospitals before she came to us. Her case was getting progressively worse and worse. Michelle was 26 weeks pregnant and had been having shortness of breath for a few weeks before she came to the first hospital. The th her symptoms were getting worse and worse. She was having fevers and chills. And as, over the time of the next 12 hours, she got progressively sicker and sicker. She was first transferred to the maternity hospital, but at that time she got sicker and requ required another transfer for management of her cardiac case. They found that she had the bad valve problem along with the COVID, all adding up to make her very, very sick. And she required to be placed on a mechanical ventilator and was medications to support her heart. حتى لو عندها كوفيد، حتى لو عندها تضيق بالصمام المترالي، لا بنجيبها وبنعملها عمليه قلب مفتوح، ما فيها اخذ وعطاء. بس لما ضافوا لنا المعلومه هاي انه المريضه حامل وبالشهر السادس صار صار عندنا تحدي كثير كبير. The patient was complaining of severe shortness of breath, unable to breathe. So it was a big challenge for us because we don't manage pregnant patients here at our hospital. So we don't have an obstetrics team, but we're the only hospital that can handle this kind of patient with very sick from COVID and very bad valve problem. The patient, unfortunately, was in this time in a difficult situation and a very difficult situation. The body was very difficult. And when it was the time they had to get her in the ambulance, unfortunately, they had to get her in the ambulance and they had to put her in the ambulance. They had to put her in the ambulance, they had to put her in the ambulance, and they had to put her in the ambulance in a situation like this. When we received the call from the anesthesia side, Michelle was already in the intensive care unit. Our colleagues from the intensive care unit had already started treating her because her condition was really 
critical. The decision was, if we left her more than two or three hours, her, she would die and her baby would die if we didn't do something uh, immediately. The only other treatment that we could do was to open up the valve to allow her heart to pump as she's dealing with the COVID pneumonia and be ready to deal with anything that can happen afterwards. So we immediately arranged for things within half an hour, got the anesthesia team ready and brought her down for an urgent balloon procedure to open up the valve. <laughs> كليفن كلينك ابو ظبي بدنا نحافظ على حياه الشخصين والجيف تاور بس شوت بدنا ننقذ المريضين خمس فرق طبية بالغرفة العمليات بس بنستنى فيها فريق جراحة القلب فريق القسطرة التدخلية فريق التخدير طبعا عندنا فريق نزائية وتوليد وفريق للأطفال كنا جاهزين لكل السيناريوهات So once we took her to the operating room we then had to put a cannula in the neck in the big veins in the neck to go into the heart and with this we measured the pressure on the right side of the heart. It tells us how, also how much volume the heart is able to pump out. جهزناها طبعا وهي هيك كانت في غيبوبه وانتبيتد فبلشنا القسطره التدخليه طبعا عشان سبحان الله الواحد بده حامل كل الاناتومي كل كل جسمه بيكون غير وقدرنا نوصل للصمام كان تحدي كثير كبير وصلنا له ومن خلال البالون على طول مع اول نفخه تحسن شوي رجعنا عملنا له كمان اكسبانجن ففتح الصمام على الاخر وعلى طول حسينا القلب انتعش so we all decided as a team that the best treatment for her and to, for her baby was to deliver her immediately in the same operating room. يعني انتقلنا من القلب على طول خلال اقل من نص ساعه لغرفة عمليات للولادة. فتحنا البطن طلعنا البيبي باقل من ربع ساعة الحمد لله وطلع طبعا كما كالمتوقع يعني لساته كان من التخدير من ما بقدر يتنفس تنفس لحاله اضطروا يحطوا له الانبوب للتنفس وعلى طول فريق الاطفال اخذ معاه وراحوا على الاي سي يو وقدرنا نطلعها على الاي سي يو بشكل مور ستيبل اتليست من الوضع اللي اجتنا فيه هي واز وين شي ارايفد ان ذا اي سي يو شي واز فيري انستيبل از ا بيشنت هو جست she was pregnant, she had COVID, and then she had to do a cardiac surgery. It's a lot. So how's the patient doing? So she's still in a critical condition. We are struggling with her ventilation. She still requires a lot of medication to help her blood pressure. Yeah. She's very, very unstable, doctor. Yeah, as you know, that was a very hard case, okay? We've opened up the valve, but her lungs are in a very bad shape. Mm -hmm. We're going to be struggling with the ventilation for the next few days. We're going to try to wean it as much as possible. Okay, I already sent a blood now, and I sent an ECG too. Okay. So I'll keep you updated on the result. Please, yeah, that's very important. I'm going to wait for your call, 
Okay? And if anything happens, anytime, please give me a call. Okay, perfect, okay? doctor. Thank you, you so much. Something. So patients, when they are in ICU, usually they are uh, very unstable. And even if they're all, they start to become stable, they're still at risk of decompensating uh, quickly. That's why she required like close monitoring, uh, she one-on-one -on -one nursing, and the team and the respiratory therapist, the doctors were all here in the ICU. شوي شوي خففنا التخدير صحية المريضة. أول ما صحيت كانت شوي مشوشة, confused, كتير 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 متضايقة مش عارفة وين هي. اللي تخيل إن المريضة لسه لما نامت كانت حامل ما كانت عارفة وين رايحة. فجأة صحيت لقت حالة بكليفلين كلينيك صاحية. I'm sleeping for how many days? I don't know. I have no idea about it. I don't know what happened next. Then maybe collapse. Then I wake up in Cleveland. Slowly she was waking up. Her first reaction was asking about her her son. What it's okay. Calm down. To calm down. Calm down. Everything's gonna be fine. Okay. Where is my son? Everything's gonna be fine. You're I okay. Want to see him, You're okay. Doctor. You're okay. I want to see my son. Where it's gonna take some time. We want to get you back on your feet, and then you're gonna see him. How okay. He's doing, please. I'm gonna get you pictures. Don't worry. I'm gonna get you pictures, and then we can calm you down. Okay. Michelle's case, what made it more complicated was that she was pregnant and the medicines we give do affect the baby as well. So we had a team of neonatologists from another hospital who were here to monitor the baby. So they could monitor the baby's heartbeat whilst we were taking care of Michelle as well. She did, uh, she did wonderfully with our uh, treatment uh, and we were able to take care of all of those issues. But uh, even when she got better and she woke up, she had some non-medical issues to face as well because uh, it was a time when uh, COVID was at its peak. Uh, when she woke up, she found her husband was quarantined and she couldn't see him. She found out that her baby had been taken to another specialist hospital. Uh, so it was emotionally a very challenging time for her. I'm so happy that you came such a far, far, far away. Look where we were. This is when you first came to us. Okay. Your lungs were so wide and you couldn't even take a breath. Oh, really? And this is how, you, how it looks right now. I'm so grateful. I'm so glad that there really, there is a lot of changes. And now I'm happy. I have to go home. I want to go home. And I'm so This is exactly what we're going to do. Yeah, I just want to share to you some photos and I'm so excited to see him. Oh my God, let me see that. Really, doctor? Oh, he's so beautiful, he's so beautiful. Alhamdulillah, I'm very happy that he's recovering well now. Alhamdulillah, doctor, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, and the only thing left is now the reunion. You have to go and see him as soon as possible. Yes, your lungs please. are okay now, your heart is okay. Our baby boy is the only first boy, first child delivered in Cleveland. And really, I'm so happy and we're so glad about it. Now, as we know, in the Cleveland Clinic, there is no child of birth, nor child of birth. So this was one of the very big challenges. How can we combine five doctors in a very serious way? 
بوقت قياسي. He is good now. الحمد لله. He is good. He is great. He is doing good. He is now one year old in six months. And he's doing well. She's doing great, uh, Michelle. She's back to her normal life. She's up and about, doing really well. I was actually went to about six months ago, went to Caleb's one year uh, birthday party, and he looks fantastic. Nice, beautiful, healthy boy, baby boy. In Jasmine, the difference between the medical and the medical is a lot, but it's also a miracle of the medical. It's not possible to come back after a year and a half, the mother and the child are in a very natural way, and we don't know them anything. وانا بعد سنه ونص من هاي العمليه بقدر اكد لكم انه المريضه هلا تعافت معافاه تامه الولد بصحه ممتازه جدا ما في اي مشاكل صحيه بيعاني منها وبحاله طبيعيه زيه زي اي بني ادم ثاني I think the amazing part was how all the team members were able to come together to coordinate such a complex and difficult case that needed coordination of multiple teams of doctors, multiple uh, teams of staff from different hospitals even. But the beauty of what we can do here in Abu Dhabi is all work together to have a successful and save two lives. So for sure, the cardiac ICU team and the along with the nurses, the respiratory therapists, all the multidisciplinary team were able to give Michelle and her new baby uh, a new chance to live. Undoubtedly, undoubtedly. I don't think there are many centers uh, in the world that can come together in this way in such a short amount of time and come up with a, with a, with a plan like this and, uh, and also see it through successfully. I think this is one of the greatest stories that ever happened in Cleveland, especially because in Cleveland Clinic Abu Dhabi, there's no mater, like usually pe people don't come here to give birth. So um, in Michelle's case, we had to use everyone's expertise to try and save her life. You know? Yeah, I mean, you know, when she first came, I was really worried both were not gonna make it. But seeing them, we were able to give them both new lives. Both were able to survive and to see a beautiful, healthy baby boy and a nice, beautiful, healthy Michelle is a, is a miracle. حالي زي هاي بهاي الصعوبة بهاي الحساسية أنا ما بعتبرها بس إنجاز طبي أنا بعتبرها معجزة طبية وإنجاز كتير كبير مش بس لكليفلند كلينك أبو ظبي لا للإمارات كلها على مستوى العالم. A new age from Cleveland Clinic, yes. This is new chance, new age for us, new age for me especially, you know. It's really, I mean, it's amazing. I'm so grateful.